create what the pie chart uh, how would I create a pie chart mm, I will pick up two columns again here I will just pick up more interesting columns here let's see which columns will be interesting uh, let's see we have a region we have the country even let's copy the country and the cells again uh, let's try to um, just print out the bar chart or pie chart based on those columns here first I will uh, group it by the country group by and see what will it print just for country it's just interesting for me country right and some yes it has extracted country and all these numeric values country has been defined as an index here but I want the cells of this country again specific column will be extracted cells again it has extracted as a series we are just entailing with scopes and typing the PD data frame click shift enter you can see it has created a new data frame and has defined the country as an index of these cells grouped it by summing these cells for each column here but if I want to print out the first 10 um, countries by cells uh, from the smallest to the largest or from the largest to the smallest one will be interesting I will type in again I will define the countries here countries equals countries equals to this one and concatenate sort values countries sort values values again I want to sort them Mm, based on the cells right based on the cells and mm, just save it by typing the in place equals true and even make it in a descending order sending equals to false from the biggest to the smallest one right and call it here countries countries yes it has extracted it and if I just type in the head 10 click shift enter you can see it will print out the top 10 uh, rows uh, of this data here if I just make it here would it it should work I think in place equals to true shift enter yes there's no problem I will add in the numeric only only equals true yes you could see United States it takes the first place while Brazil at the top 10 here now I will print out the pie chart of this data in order to print it I will just define this uh, data to the countries head I will just create a new variable type with the top 10 let's see if I just define it to top 10 and click it run it again top 10 yes and now if I want to visualize this top 10 I will type in the top 10 variable and plot plot from the top 10 I will pick up the cells cells column and plot it plot mm -hmm. kind equals to kind equals to pi pi just click shift enter you could see it has plotted it or visualized this data United States takes first place etc I can even print out its values if I want by typing uh, with the as a percentage here 
I will type in the auto. There is a special keyword PCT equals to inside of this single line quotes or double line quotes inside of the percentages signs. I will type in what 1.1. I want a one decimal point here and add in F here. Click shift enter. You could see here is the result. It just has printed all the percentage signs here and there is no problem we could even mm, make the figure a bit fix size figure size a bit smaller or bigger let's see fig size will be 14 to 7 yes we have made it a bit big i want to make it a bit small right okay we could even add what the title by typing the plt title equals um, top 10 countries by sales shift enter right now i can do what i can group by country with the shipping cost here let's see I have this group by uh, I have used the group by country with sales but I want to group to group by country with the shipping cost let's just group it by I will type it df group by group by country country click shift enter with some and with this shipping cost I want to just group it by with the shipping cost but aggregate it like type it with like this one aggregate it and print out the average of the shipping cost here and in order to aggregate the average I will type in the name of the column here shipping cost Mm, let's just bring out not mean not mean but the maximum the maximum shipping cost for each uh, country here right and if I just click shift enter uh, it should we should do what entail it with the curly brackets I think shift enter you could see it has extracted the shipping cost for each country here the maximum shipping cost for each country but we could sort it if I want sort values um, and type in what uh, shipping cost because we want to sort it based on the shipping cost right and make it from the biggest to the smallest ascending equals to false yes United States costs more and print out what the first 10 rows of it yes from United States to France these countries are the most uh, has the most maximum cost of sh the shipping here now we could even do, visualize again this data with the PLT or the plotly matplotlib library in order to do this we will again can access this one to with the country or define this to the variable here by typing the country equals to and call again this one and plot it here by typing the plt bar country index will be the first parameter because we are accessing this one then second will be the country column the name of the column what is the shipping cost here this one shipping cost right and we could even add the color equals to red I think a red should work like air and if I just click shift enter it will print it out 
uh, this chart based on these values uh, we can uh, make a rotation here by typing the plt uh, x sticks sticks rotation rotation equals to vertical vertical right and print out it show right yes we have printed it out and if you want you can give a figure size plt figure fix size equals five and three we have made it small right and if this one looks again big we kill again size them and make it five yes we have made it small and you could see we have already completed all project you could uh, just copy this image and all these images and if you have a word or some other files you can just paste them out if i just try to word type in like if you want to um, make a Uh, kind of statistics small statistic you can just copy them and paste on the dashboard or in excel file excel file will be better and then uh, visualize it to your manager i think we could even uh, upload it to the github but i won't do it i will make it in another lesson i think that this uh, lesson was really useful for you uh, thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel have a good day bye